Endless Ocean Blue World is a love or hate game. The game consists of almost entirely just exploring around this massive ocean, looking at different types of fish and collecting different treasures along the ocean floor. There are some tacked on action sequences which normally involve you shooting a shark with your pulsar gun or a pathetic attempt at a quick time event. But still, 99.9% .9 of the game is just you exploring this ginormous ocean. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a simple formula and it works. It's proven it's worked before and it's probably going to work again here if you're the type of person who's into this game. Just remember, this is not an action game. If you go into it with the right expectations, you will leave enjoying yourself. If you go into it with the wrong expectations, then, well, you get the idea. The only problem is, when the formula is this simple, the mechanics must be top notch. And for the most part, there are. The only one complaint I had with the game's mechanics was switching between all of your various tools could be kind of clunky. And it's especially annoying in this type of game because you're scanning the ocean floor, you see a fish swimming by, and it's like, oh, I haven't got that fish, I better... But you have to put away your scanner and then click it. You can't just click it. Stuff like that just ends up frustrating you. Because most likely it will get away before you actually have a chance to at it. The music in this game is also love or hate. The music is very loud and very atmospheric. And I understand for the GP, it's not going to be the most comfortable thing to listen to. Which is why I find it kind of odd that they took away the ability to play music off of your SD card like there was in the first Endless Ocean. It's impossible to give Endless Ocean Blue World an actual score because it, it's designed to be an immersive experience and not so much an actual game. I do kind of wish that they could have posted a trial period or something like that on WiiWare so that way people could test it out to see if it's their type of game. Otherwise, you don't really have a choice. I definitely don't recommend you rent this game or else you'll just literally be throwing your money away because three days is just barely enough time to unlock all the tools.